Welcome, I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to create an object that a player can sit on in the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Roblox Studio open and you're gonna to wanna to get started with having a character sit on an object. Now you probably notice that if you create a block, uh, you know, if I add a block here, that if I go ahead and play this game, that I will not be able to sit on that block. It just kind of walks over, right? So if I stop this gameplay and then uh, show you how to create an object that you can sit on. So the easiest way to do this is to go over to your workspace and then click on this plus icon here. And then you can search for an object. And so you're gonna need a seat to sit on. So you're gonna go ahead and look up seat and then the first one looks good to me. So I'm gonna click on seat and you see it was added to the game. Now, if you can't see your seat, it usually is a black block. I'm gonna zoom out here, zoom in. So you can see it came over here. You can uh, click on seat and press F and that'll find it in your terrain. So you can see I was able to find the uh, seat and now I can move it over. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play this so you can see the difference between the two blocks. So the first one uh, I won't sit on, but then this one, when I get to it, my character sits on the block like that. And so this is gonna be very important for uh, when you create something you want your character to sit on. So I'm just gonna use a something from the toolbox here, and let's just look up maybe a bench or something like that. And these usually already have some kind of, uh, they already have this part in there. Uh, so let's say I wanted that bench. What you would wanna do is, uh, if let's say you built this bench from scratch, what you'd want to do is take the seat. So select the seat and then you can move it. And then you can go up here to move and you can move it up or down. And if you want to change, you know, how uh, much, how many studs it moves at a time, just, um, you know, change the move uh, there, but one stud's fine. And so basically what I'm going to do is position this block underneath that one. Now, when I have it selected, make sure that you have can collide off. Okay, so uh, that way it won't collide onto other things. So now I can take that uh, part and I can um, go ahead and place it right where the, the character would sit down. So you can see I'm just gonna place this right around maybe there or something like that. Now when I play this game, I'll be able to sit right where I put the block. Okay, so you can see I'm able to sit on the, uh, and then of course to, um, you know, to have your character come off of the seat, you just uh, press the jump button and then it can um, you know, come off of the seat. So again, you can manipulate the seat in different ways. You, you can make it um, invisible. So you know, the transparency, I can go ahead and you know, make it uh, in invisible. So that way the, you won't see that seat on top of the chair. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, you can also change, uh, if you want it to be visible, you can change the material and uh, you know, take the cast shadow, you can take that off uh, so that you won't see a shadow from it. Um, and then again, the main, the most important thing is um, you want can collide off and then you might want it anchored um, to the spot so that that way it's in the same spot every time and your models don't fall apart. You now know how to sit in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.